You're now listening to episode 82 of Signed In, an Xbox 360 podcast, recorded on December 2nd, 2011. Find us online at signedinpodcast.com. Welcome back to Signed In. I am Jeremy Superfro33. I am Craig Prop Dresser. And I am Sean Chonix. And we're here for a late night recording. That's right. I don't know why it's important to tell people what time we're recording at. Because I want them to listen to it late night. <laughs> Is this only you yeah. can only listen to it at late I, night? So stop right now. Yep. If it's if it's Wait. like not even past nine, you can't listen to this. Wait podcast. until the sun is down. Yeah. Put a <laughs> Put on some candlelight. There you go. You guys are now what? we're setting the mood. Well, wait a minute. No, 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 no. You're making a totally different show. <laughs> no, no, that's good. I like the candlelight. That makes sense. I don't want this to be like some kind of sexy show. Well, I mean, that happens naturally, no, but like I don't want to force it. Well, it's it's more like we lure you in just to. You know. Well, now we're like sexual predators. Wow. Exactly. Wow. When have I never been on this <laughs> show? Or out of the show? Signed in the roofie discussion. <laughs> no. Oh. Wow. You let it there. I know. That's why I mentioned what time it is, because it leads to bullshit for like 30 seconds. <laughs> of course. I remember now. Anyway. That's how uh, we pad the show. That's exactly right. If you if you actually sat down with a with a pen, pencil and paper, yeah. you'd find we only talk about games for three and a half minutes. <laughs> on true. an hour and a half average right. show. Mm -hmm. Three minutes. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong. Nope. All right. With a little bump and ground. Well, <laughs> see, those are for the people that have the candles going already. <laughs> just start. Sean, you, well, oh. Sean's got his own audience going <laughs> yeah, on right exactly. now. He, he is att attending them I'm like them a up. good host should. <laughs> this is going back like a hundred thousand shows, and maybe even not even on this podcast. But remember, did we talk about your party in a box? Yeah, uh, I'm sure it's come up on. I, was I know it on it's come up on, on out of continuity. Before. Out of continuity. I don't know. I, I put it on. I put it. Did I put it on the site? <laughs> Because I'm showing Sean a picture right now of a party in a box that I saw at Walgreens. What? what? It's oh. really just a karaoke machine. That's but all right, then. It says party in a box on the box. Uh, That's fine. That is copyright infringement. No, because I'm gonna. it's going to be part A. <laughs> so I'm totally going to get Jack A to do the, 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 the Jack a? person for <laughs> party in the box. I can't do a Jack A's voice, but... <laughs> Well, it's going to cost you $227. <laughs> 227 Oh, man. We are the worst podcast I've ever heard. We haven't mentioned a single game yet. <laughs> oh, um, shall we? I guess. Well, we're off well, script now. Did we start the so. recording already? Uh, no. Okay. okay. This, this is all. Thank God. This is all dry Three, run here. Three, two, one. <laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome back to <laughs> Signed In. I'm Jeremy Super Pro Thirty Three. Uh, this is uh, off the rails. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're games. on track. I do yes. have something to talk about. I'll go through them real quick because I got. The same things I've always played. Uh, Skyrim. Uh -huh. I'm going to talk about that for a yes. long time. And then uh, I do have a couple new ones, though. Assassin's Creed, yeah. uh, Revelations, and... Oh, wait, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might have a couple more on you guys, but uh, what do you guys got? Uh, well, all is right with the world again. Uh, I have a boatload of indie games to talk about in conjunction with Sean here. Yeah. Uh, including some uh, new ones from uh, favorites of the show here, like uh, Fun Infused Games, new game Volchaos. Oh, yeah. Uh, and also a whole bunch of the uh, nominations for um, the, the Summer Uprising okay, yeah. uh, are coming out. Volchaos was one of those, actually, but also Orbitron Revolution. Uh, you know, we also have uh, Dragons vs. Spaceships. Yep, yep. What else we got? I got Elf Squad 7. Elf Squad 7. Uh, an old game that we talked about, Uzi. Remember Uzi Earth Adventure? I yeah, do. their second episode came out. I must have totally missed that. Second level, basically. <sighs> Isn't that a guy on the bike? No, 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 no. no, no. It's no. it's the guy with the big smile. And that's I okay. The got platformer, it now. really nice platformer. And then uh, I got a little puzzle game called Itza. Hmm, nice. It's a puzzle game. Oh, uh, no, I see that's, how that's, that that's goes. not their joke. That's my joke. <laughs> that's your joke. <laughs> I take full credit and blame for that. Yeah, I'd say more blame than credit. <laughs> uh, Arcade-wise, what we got? Did you play some Seen It? I did. I played some Seen It <laughs> movie night. Uh, I, that, was, there's, that was a nice well, I also had, I, I also had tension builder there. What about Avatar Trivia Party? Oh, you I'm sorry. Just, you guys don't even want me talking about I it. I forgot Avatar. And then we'll let you talk about Avatar Trivia. And some Voltron. Avatar Voltron. <laughs> I am very excited to talk about Voltron here, I'm glad actually. you guys are. And then I'm going to mumble <laughs> some more about Saints Row. Nice. I played a lot more of that game. 
Excellent. Cool. Yeah, it pulled me in. And then some Disney can or kidnapped Disney Adventures. Awesome. And it is connect Disney Adventures because you can't find it in the D's. You can only find it in the K's. <laughs> you know, and actually on Xbox though dot com, they I think they just listed as Disneyland Adventures. And that's, so I don't think it says connect on there. Wrong. I don't know what to tell you. Are you sure that's not their other Disney game? Yes. I gotta okay. talk to my video place. <laughs> or don't because it's how you found it, because yeah, otherwise that's, all that's, the kids would have had exactly. it. Exactly. You got a good point there. <laughs> Suckers. I got complaints about that game too, so I'll get to chime in on you. I, I want to hear them. I know. I'm having fun with it. It's really more just the it's bad boiling. parenting that it is. All right. <laughs> bad so parenting. It is. To teach kids to run with knives. <laughs> Apparently, it teaches kids to run around the park without parents. <laughs> so that's yeah. what I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. It's a little concerning to me. You're so sheltering. And then... Uh, you got, if you love something, let it go. If all goes right... <laughs> If all goes right, which, uh, with the way every, this evening has started, I can't guarantee it's going to end that way. But if all goes right, we will have the uh, inaugural episode of PAX Chronicles I'm at so the end excited. of the show. I'm so excited, yeah. Don't get excited. I'm so excited. Oh. We'll, see, I, we'll see if... I uh, pulled back my excitement. I know Craig... <laughs> I, <laughs> wow, that was really good. Yeah. You have practice with that. I, I know Craig uh, <laughs> can control like his aspects of it, of it, but I can't guarantee that I'm going to be like anything <laughs> worthwhile for it. So we'll see how it goes. But let's talk about some indie games to start. How about let's that? Let's do it, Sean. What we got? I'm going to kick it off with uh, Avatar Trivia Party. <laughs> All right, it sold for 80 points by Mark. Ventron. I feel like there should be some party music. You know on. it. Party it's, in a box. It's, will this be included with party in a box? I would put it in. Would there. it be included with? I would put a code in there. Would for, it be included with party in a box? I'm sorry, that's oh, yes. what I meant. That too. I forgot about the ah, name change. See, <laughs> I'm I'm already I'm still on my phone. I'm twittering and texting back with my legal team on this one. <laughs> right. The legal department. Yeah, while well, we're talking right now, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm trying to party get, in a box. Thing. Yes, I'm trying to get it done. But industries. I'm convinced it might this be, episode will it, never end. It might be T A Y. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. But we've got Avatar Trivia Parte. Um, <laughs> it's uh, one, oh, it's a one to four local or online. It's sold Ooh, for okay. 80 points. Nice. I mean, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty um, sweet. It is a, pretty much a, this trivia game, and you're on a board. A bo- like a, your oh, avatar okay. is on a board, and then you roll two dice. Well, you start off the first question. If you get it wrong, you only get one dice. If you get it right, you get two. Oh, so anytime okay. you get the nice. you get a right question, you get two dice rolls. Excellent. And then that moves you ahead, and they actually have like little shortcuts, mm-hmm. like they do in any kind of board game. Right, right. They have ones that send you back. Mm-hmm. They have you re rolls. They have like switch places with characters, and you just got to make it to the end. Of course, the time ran out on it, but uh, some of the questions were really good. Like they were current. Some mm-hmm. of them had current oh, questions. I wow. asked them about, and it was all it. It didn't matter. It was all movie or. History or oh, so it's not all trivia about the movie Avatar. No, no, <laughs> exactly. Because it sounded terrible. See, and that's I think that's why it says trivia party on the gotcha. marketplace Instead for of just Avatar yeah, trivia. I think, sorry, they were like, wait, we can't do this because they're gonna think it's just Avatar. Because I would suck at that game and be like, that's fake. What color um, blue is this? <laughs> but I, I really, I really Fun enjoyed it. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, but I know, I know all the retarded shit from it. Wow, I have metal, I have. Metal claws made of unobtain. I can't even say that word. Yeah, that's all right. Unobtainium. Unobtainium. That makes sense. Unobtainium. Say it like a robot. Unobtainium. There, there you there go. You go. <laughs> but uh, I Fixes think it's everything. I think it's worth totally checking out. Um, Eighty <laughs> points. It could be a fun home, you know, house. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's a ch- cheap trivia game, mm-hmm. and you can play online with other people. That's Sounds cool. Like a good party so, game. Yeah, the online is very nice. Yeah, here. for eighty points. Awesome. Right. Uh, well, speaking of part uh, puzzles, I guess no, it's not a puzzle. That's a board game. That was a. Failed transition right there. <laughs> Puzzles, right. trivia. Nobody noticed. Just go. You know what? I always give the same it's look. It's a failed transition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk about It's a from uh, Ivan Mark de Bongo. Wow, I can't read my handwriting. I apologize, Ivan Mark. <laughs> anyway, 80 points. Um, it's a simple puzzle game. And it's kind of set up with a Mayan theme mm-hmm. in there. There's a neat little aspect where it's kind of telling this story as you go between puzzles. Like you come home one day and your wife's there, but your children are gone and you suspect that your grandfather has kidnapped him, kidnapped them. <laughs> and so you're, you're running off into the jungle hmm. as this Mayan warrior. You're running off into the jungle to go search down. So there's little story elements that you can read in between each puzzle. But the puzzle works like – so you have these uh, different colored tiles – and uh, you have a whole block of these tiles, but you can only a- access like the bottom row of the tiles. And basically you have to kind of match the same color tiles. And so you <laughs> click on one, then you click on another and it disappears. And then the tiles above it fall down. And so your job is to arrange it so that you can uh, drop the tiles 
um, basically so you can clear out the whole block of tiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you kind of have to plan for these tiles that are above, and you can't see what color all of them are. You can only see the color of like the row directly above you. The Y button will allow you to shift tiles upwards, so you can switch it with the, the row above, and the X button, or is it the B button? I can't remember. One of those two buttons will allow you to switch with a neighboring tile. Hmm. Now, on the demo, I made the mistake of assuming that you had to have two tiles of the same color adjacent to each other. That's actually not true. You can click on a tile, and then if there's like another tile in between, that's fine. You can jump over that and go over to another tile. Hmm. And so, basically, as you shift tiles around, you lose points or lose timer. I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but you were losing something. Because before I realized that you could do it, you know, across tiles, yeah. I was shifting things all around and I would lose constantly. Because <laughs> I was just shifting like a madman. But um, it, it's a pretty simple puzzle, but it's actually quite quite nice and you know you kind of have to plan a little bit ahead so you don't end up with like one color <laughs> kind of stranded out in the middle of yeah. nowhere or or what what is uh more common having one color stuck like one level up when you really need it to drop down or something um 80 points is worth checking out if you like puzzle games definitely take a look at it awesome. cool um, I got Elf Squad 7. Elf Squad 7. Sold for 80 points from Taiko. Get the holiday games you, in. And it was a good holiday game. It was game. pretty I good thought, holiday I thought it was game. Cool. I like this. But it's from Taiko Com. Yes. Uh, it's one to four players, loco co-op. It's a platformer shooter where you have like all these... Oh, first of all, like you're elves and, and multiplayer then, and multiple. Yeah, it's multiple. But one to four, local, local. Yeah, local. But you have uh, Kevin is a bad robot is created <laughs> to help the helpers for uh, help Santa, Santa. Mm -hmm. um, and he goes kind of nuts. And uh, he's like sending out all these presents, and what you've got to do as an elf is trying to round them up because you got this wrapping gun. Yes, that wraps them into. But Wait, not like, not like wraps. No, no, like, not, not like rippity wrap. Not rippity no. wrap. To wrap. Rip no rip no, a no, gun no. that wraps. Come on, no. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a gun stuff. that wraps presents. I'm sorry, I live in an awesome fantasy world. <laughs> Isn't that the game we played, Damnation? <laughs> Didn't that gun wrap? <laughs> Pretty much. There you Probably. go. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Crossover. I played it, Craig. <laughs> Don't tell me it doesn't exist. <laughs> so you got to collect, and you, you have a certain time level. Yeah. And it's it's a platform in the sense you're stuck in one little room. You can't. It doesn't continuously go to right, the right. right. Um, but you there are certain levels. That's where the platformer comes from. And then you're shooting above you, and you're trying to gather as many presents as you can in the time that you have. Well, but, you, ha you have a certain number of presents you yeah, have to get. Yeah, you, yeah, and then that fills it up. Um, cause you have a meter at the top yes. and you got to get a certain amount. And then as that goes on and time goes down, but you can get time and then with the sundials yep, and then they send down, um, giant presents. Well, giant presents that are cool. Oh yeah. Yes. But then there's villains you, you have that to just keep shooting them and then they explode into like a ton of tiny presents. Many, many, many. Yes. So, uh, but there are villains, yes. villains drop down probably about half. It seems like it's like. Kind of like halfway through, like if you get the meter up about halfway, then the guy drops down. I, I think I'm, so. I'm sure it ramps up the more you yeah. get into it because you don't even get any villains that first level. I don't. Think. I got one. Did you? Yeah. Maybe I, I just. Maybe it was just time. on the other side because they just keep running around. There's like yeah. an evil top and like an evil doll and you know all the all the uh, evil alien. I think. I think so. Like I tried jumping alien on toy. one of them. Maybe. You can jump on top of them actually. Wow, well, they did. I don't know. If you must have hit me. it from. A I must have did it. Yeah. <laughs> But uh had a lot of fun with it. I yeah, just nice. I thought it was really cool. Uh, and uh 80 points. The graphics are really very pixelated, a lot of fun. But it's got um, its own unique little style yeah. to it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't quite play, place my finger on it, but it did remind me of something else. But yeah, it's 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 really graphically nice. It almost had like a a shell a, a cell shading over the top. A little bit, yeah. And then the inside was still pixelated but not as cell shaded. Right. And it still worked. And it also I, I felt it like cool a, like kind of like an old computer screen where it's you can kind of see the lines of pixels. Yeah. Yeah. them as well yeah so, cool. yeah it was they really nice did a really good job with it and 80 points yeah yep. it was a lot of fun uh i want to talk about uzi earth adventure episode two we talked about Ur uzi earth adventure episode one a while back yeah this comes from awesome game studios great title <laughs> great name there guys 80 points just they like do the set the bar kind of high with their own name though. they do <laughs> but thankfully they deliver <laughs> all right uh 80 points just like the first episode was um, when you start up the game, it does recap the first episode, so watch out for spoilers. But <laughs> so you should play the first one because anyway. it's 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 essentially level two, and gotcha. uh, apparently in level two you pick up some power ups because uh, Uzi is is much more powerful in this one. He's capable of doing more things, and uh, it's a uh, it's your basic platformer. You're running around, jumping on enemies. Uh, you can also punch them once you've stunned them sometimes, uh, and then collecting star bits to try and. Uh, you know, gain extra lives and also, you know, uh, complete the levels. And then you're working your way to a boss at the end of it. Um, 
So, yeah, I mean, that's basic. That's sort of a basic platformer. If you're familiar with platformers, mm-hmm. you're going to be familiar with yeah. the game. But it controls, just like with the first episode, controls really well. Awesome uh, level design, awesome uh, character design, things like that. Yeah, check this one out. It has got a high, high polish. Because you liked the first episode. Yeah, I did. Lot, yeah, you? I did. And yeah, that's why I don't know how I, this, I totally missed it. You know, the, the first one has been sitting on my. Uh, my stack of uh, demos that I've been your virtual uh, stack that I've been collecting over over the year your virtual pile of shame exactly <laughs> uh, and I've been working my way through that and purchasing things and episode two really convinced me to go back and buy episode one and also buy episode two because awesome it's just a really fun platform cool cool yeah I'll definitely check that I, out I do recommend keeping the virtual stack of shame because my pile of shame is real no and it's terrible I'm working my way out because of it. no but I'm saying if you have a pile of shame. That's the way to have it. No, I'm gonna have no pile of shame. Because mine's shame real, more. and they're like sixty bucks a piece. And <laughs> yeah, but you're sitting there. You have like two piles of shame. You have the video <laughs> game pile of shame Sean, and the paper pile of shame. I can't even count the number of piles of shame that I <laughs> when have. When did this become about you? <laughs> when is uh, it I don't know, like eighty-two <laughs> episodes ago. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a good point. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> what a show off. Right. How about some Volcaos? Yes. Uh, so let's for, do it. Speaking of things I download and don't play, <laughs> uh, you should play. This is yeah. it. Uh, it's eighty points from Fun Infused Games. This is also a platformer. The folks it's, who, uh, I love those guys. The folks who brought uh, Hypership out Hyper of control, Ship, yep, yep. which apparently is doing really well on uh, portable devices now nice. as well. Yeah, good for them. I follow him on Twitter. So we've got this like shout out this down on his luck guy who has lost like everything in his life. Uh, so he decides to jump in volcanoes yes. to get gems to pay for like those things because he has to pay like alimony and <laughs> yes because yeah. he lost his that, wife. That's that is his uh, his fantastic. main impetus is paying alimony. <laughs> yeah. He's collecting all this shit to pay alimony. I love it. So he's jumping in these volcanoes and the uh, lava is rising. So when you start on your left side, I, I assume every time. Because that's, yeah. that's what happened. And you try to get to uh, a flag that's on your right. right. And you got to jump over the lava um, since the Volcanus. Canis. Volcanus. Oh, well, that's, a, that's the wrong that's a wow. game. That's, that is that's a game I play Mexican every Tuesday. It's <laughs> <laughs> after Taco Night. Never mind. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> and Volcanus. There you go. So, wow. I don't um, think Pierce Brosnan's going to start in that one. <laughs> so you, oh, wait. That was Dante's Peak. Damn it. My reference didn't work. <laughs> Failed. It worked for me. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. There you He's go. He's not gonna star in that one. That's there right. you go. There you Saved go. it. Dante's peak. <laughs> um, but you're picking up. You're, you're picking up gems. I'm out. And there's a certain time limit. Uh, I believe. Yeah, the time limit because the lava's rising. Essentially. Yes. I mean, um, yeah. That's, yeah. That's your essential time limit. Yeah. Exactly. And then they've made it. <laughs> you're out of time when you start on fire. Exactly. But Which they, you do. But they do have uh, little icons that you can hit that will like make the lava go down. Yeah. And they have like springboard. Uh, like platforms, platforms, and, stuff, and yeah. they have platforms that disintegrate. I mean, and little, class- e- little evil fireballs yeah, jumping cl- around. <laughs> classic tropes of any kind of platformer. Yeah. Really solid. Yeah. Uh, I think they allow like the first four levels Something on, like and then that. it's like, hey, buy the game. I don't know because I already purchased it. Yeah, it's a dollar. Yeah, um, <laughs> graphics are. And it tells you're, you at the very beginning not to perform the stunts that are in. And <laughs> it does. gives you a warning. Oh, and the beginning is a total shout out to Mega Man openings. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and it's and it's spectacular. It's really well. The music's really great in yeah, there as well. I agree. Your, your basic challenge is to get to the flag. Yeah. I mean, if you just get to the flag, then you you move, you move on to yeah. the next level. But if you collect all of the gems, then you unlock an expert level. And sometimes collecting all the gems, even in those first couple levels, is <laughs> Is a little challenging, and, and they it's like it's it's like the part of Indiana Jones where the girl's trying to reach for the you know the Holy Grail. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's like I can reach it, I yeah. can get it. And she dies, oh, yeah. and then Indy does it, and you know, yeah. And that's how I felt like in, there was this, a couple in times. In this case, if I was that Indy, I would burst in the flame yeah. as I was trying to reach for the Grail because I that's when I was like, oh, I got time, I can get that one, and then I yeah, it didn't no. work. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's and it's great. I was a little. I wasn't sure how I would react because, you know, uh, there are other platformer games with that sort of forced time limit, like Explosion yeah. Man or something like yeah. that. And sometimes those can be a little too nerve wracking mm-hmm. and I can get a little too tense. But Volcaeus is kind of it's nice because if you want to play it mellow, you can play it mellow. Yeah. If you want to play it hardcore, you can play it hardcore. And I, I like that it has that versatility to it. And, you know, the lava raising is is a nice moderate level, at least in these opening levels. I yeah. don't know what it's going to get like later in the game. But <laughs> uh, but 
I and so I, I like that because then I don't feel like I have to be on edge every time I play it. Right, if, yeah. I, if I just want to blitz through the level and get to the next level, I can do that. One little thing I thought was really nice for you know an eighty point game. I mean, it looked fantastic. The music mm-hmm. was good, but there's a small little uh, map, kind of like a little map in your right hand corner that shows like the like the levels and it actually shows the the lava coming up so if you're that. a little bit higher mm-hmm. and you don't see the lava you can look and see where it's kind of coming oh like, yeah you can nice. kind of see where it is Gauge how much time you have and i'm wondering as, as the levels they might get higher and oh higher yeah i'm and... pretty sure they do <laughs> yeah i i've seen some trailers because like i said before i follow i follow the the org the company the, i don't know what the studio designer studio I, yeah, the designers the on on twitter and uh they've been posting a lot of things over the past few months uh about it and mm-hmm. And it's just, really some of those levels are going to be insane, <laughs> and they've been talking about how some of them are just out of control. Those may hopefully are the expert levels, yes. yeah. <laughs> but very cool, I like it a lot. Um, I also want to talk about Orbitron Revolution from Firebase, it sells for 240 Microsoft points, is our uh, first uh, pricier game. Mm. But damn, if it isn't worth it, awesome! Uh, this is a really excellent game. I've already purchased this game. Um, basically, it's a side scrolling shooter, but the 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 way it works is that you're kind of protecting this base and this base is a big ring uh, mm-hmm. It's the Orbitron base or something, I think is what it is. And so you get to pilot one or two ships. You only get one access in uh, the demo. Uh, but you have one or two ships, and so you're just kind of flying back and forth and shooting at enemies. Uh, it's nice because they – but you have a time limit. The one mode that you have available in the demo is this time limit. You get a time limit and see how many waves you can get through in that Mm -hmm. time limit. Mm -hmm. There's another mode, and I think that's endless. I forgot to check uh, after I purchased it because I was still playing the time limit when I purchased (laughs) it. And uh, so you're kind of flying along. You shoot, um, and that's kind of basic, but you also pick up, like, power-ups, like these big explosions and boosts and all that. And, like, every time you shoot enemies, they they look like little digital hot dogs or something. I don't know, but (laughs) it's what you pick up for more points. And you can you get, think everything looks like a digital hot dog, I Craig? I do, actually. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, you revealed whoa. something. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no, I'm going to reveal something. <laughs> you can, a digital hot dog. You can get uh, score multipliers <laughs> a by... A pixelated sh- sausage. You can score... I, that, we don't want to... That's a plug. <laughs> yeah, there yeah, you go. That's, a, that's nice. <laughs> um, you can get score multipliers by shooting a lot of enemies really quickly, mm-hmm. and that helps out a lot, obviously. And uh, it graphically, it is spectacular. You know, you get used to... Not to downplay the the low res graphics mm-hmm. games that we have or the old yeah. school graphics yeah. games that but you get a lot of those and this one is polished to hell oh, and cool. back and really great music going on in it and it just it controls really well um there are these <laughs> i call them little jump gates as well you can like use them even you go through and then you just blast around the 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 ring and then you're in another area to shoot more huh. bad guys and uh i had a lot of fun of, with it it was i gotta admit a lot of it was because it was reminding me of sort of the feel of like uh the old wipeout games mm-hmm. and i nice. loved those yeah. games and it's it's not wipeout but it's it gra- design wise has got some similarities to it and it there, gave you that feel it did and uh it's it's a really spectacular game if you like and it's got a very strong arcadey feel in that in that great sort of way of building up the points and trying to get as much as you because you're going through these waves and the time limit and, right and all that um so i definitely recommend checking it out it's cool. it's well worth the 240 points hmm. orbitron orbitron Orb- revolution orbitron, orbitron revolution <laughs> there you go <laughs> I've got uh, another 240-point game, yes. Dragons versus Spaceships yes. by Sloppius. I'm assuming that's the name of it. I, I I thought it was uh, Game Production Studios. Yeah, I just go by <laughs> what it says on the on the indie. The, oh, okay. The there you go. That's 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 yeah. what you want to go with, actually. But I've got uh, it's a one to two player local co op. It's over the top ship shooter, and yes. uh, as the well as the title would say, it's dragons versus spaceships. Yes. And you are a dragon. Not too much of a bullet storm going. Going on in this game, you are picking up uh, different, uh, you know, weapon weapon uh, uh, types. Basically, I yeah. like I like this aspect. So you're a dragon, but yes. you can uh, you can have like metal attack, fire attack, and ice. Attack. I think so. Yeah, but you also have like two little things, and so if 
as you're collecting them, like it, they replace the first one to yeah. push it, push the first, the old first one to the second slot. And you can have like combinations and whatever combinations you have affects whatever secondary weapon you have. Yeah. Like, like, so basically I think fire and metal gets you like a meteor attack or something. And awesome. I think double fire has like this Nova attack or yeah. whatever. But yeah, and and I thought that was a really cool aspect to it. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the graphics on it. I, I made the, the animation I made it, is. I thought nice. they did a really good job. The only problem I had with it is there's times where I didn't know where my wings were hitting. Mm-hmm. Like oh, I, okay. I couldn't. I could see that they. You know, it seems like it would uh, a shot would go through like the far part of the wing, mm-hmm. and I don't know if it's because they actually show it kind of moving at times, and when he's you know dive bobbing yeah. and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, but uh, I I thought it was really good. There I, it came to the end, and there was a, a big great. boss at the yeah. end, and I couldn't. I don't I don't know if I had the wrong gun. I for rocked him. it, man. Well, good because no. I took forever. Okay, and so, he laser beam me. So basically, he does that little targeting beam <laughs> first. That's when you shoot the the guns. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's oh, what I couldn't... was doing. Okay. <laughs> and they were never hitting red, and then all of a sudden it would hit red. But it was always I had this like firing weapon that was a ricochet. It would like bounce off of stuff. Wow, it was I don't. Sweet. I didn't know. Looked that. like little throwing stars. Because you also pick up like these little arrow power ups yep. that increase your your shot. And that like, one, you can get like, multi spread shot and stuff. It like, like that. bounced all over, and yeah. it was sweet. And I'm like, oh, that should be the right gun to use, but not so much. Yeah. A lot, of, lot. It was really fun. So very reminiscent of like 1943 or any of those yeah. over the top. Uh, but you're a dragon. dragon. But yeah. you're a dragon shooting spaceships. And you're rescuing other dragons. Yeah, I liked that. That was really cool. Like, well, I didn't understand what was going on at first because like another dragon came out. I'm like, sweet, I got a buddy. And then all of a sudden, like these things grabbed it from the side and it flew off. It I'm like, what the fuck happened in there? <laughs> he stole your buddy. I'm like, no. <laughs> really cool game. Yeah, it, it's yeah. very, very nice. Awesome. Uh, that's it. I think we're done. Are right? you guys done with indie? That's it. That's all I got. All right. <laughs> Thanks for coming. We rocked it like a hurricane. You did. Here we come. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. <laughs> all right. Uh, so how about some XBLA? Let's do it. I'll kick it off. Do it. I with think you're uh, all, like, a little seen it movie night. Uh we were mega movies. We were lucky Can enough. Specific. We were lucky seen enough it, to get one of these. Yes, yeah, seen it movie night, mega uh, movies. Mega movies. The I'm just calling it seen it movie night <laughs> three, for arcade. First among sequels. And it's, yes, exactly. <laughs> and it's eight hundred points. And it's it is I love the two seen it, the box office uh-huh. smash and smash my box office. I don't <laughs> I don't, remember, <laughs> I don't remember the smash Lights, my box action. Light, the first one was lights camera action and then box I think, office I think smash. It's called smash my box up and there was <laughs> change take, my pitch up there you go uh there, the longest time i thought was there was take least, my picture <laughs> take my picture smack my bitch up take my picture <laughs> yeah that's not good picture. was there a blur song oh, that also had something about like taking pictures uh, anyway <laughs> i think you think of filter filter, filter that's what it was yeah. filter i do i do often get those this two is, bands confused girl talk the, needs to totally mix that up but anyway <laughs> this is the worst like derailment ever no it's we're uh, back so anyway, there was a third game and that was supposed to be terrible, and I don't remember what it was. But mm. there was a third scene at disc oh, really? release that was done, but it was done by a different company from oh, the first two, oh. and it was supposed to be terrible. So yeah, the, I love those first up? two though. I I don't know. <laughs> There's something about it that's supposed to be really bad. I don't know what okay. it is. Yeah, it's like away from suit, it. Larry. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah. It was all it was all porn <laughs> porn movies. These are suits like seen it. Yeah, seen it. Um yeah. then he goes, done it. <laughs> Smelt it. Uh, what? Oh, that's hot. Anyway, sorry to totally No, no. I, seen it. And if happens. you like the scenic games, if you played the scenic I games, do. I, I think the arcade is right up your alley because there's some things about the scenic games they can be a little bit on the long side, mm-hmm. and it takes so long to get from one thing to the next. Arcade really bumped it up. It's seven different puzzle yeah. rooms, and it's about ten minutes. If it's one player, about ten minutes, and I think that's fantastic. It's all about quick points, just getting the right answer in. They do say something about buzzing, and maybe that's only when you have a second player. Yeah, they did mention that, like, there, and there's an achievement for, like, buzzing getting in. answers before the yep. person who actually buzzed in answers or something. Yeah, because so. what happens is, I, I did play it with both versions. Oh, okay. I played it without the buzzer because normally I would play the buzzer type yeah. because that's how the other Cena games played. And that's how I played And play so it. we turned buzzer off just to, so we could both have a shot because I played with my wife. And then we played through a round that had the buzzer on, and the person that buzzed in 
like you get a little short timer yeah. to answer. Yeah. And if you don't, then you lose points. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other person can answer. But I think they could still answer even after you buzz like, in. Yeah. Because you buzz in and the and the answers appear basically on right. the screen. And so then if you're still too late, I think the, they can kind of steal to it. To defeat from you. the people who are just going to be buzzing in and be like, I got a little time to make my decision. Like yep. it is on the disc games, right. which is yeah. exactly how that That's works. Cool. So I love that there was a no buzz option. Yeah. Because I hated that about yeah. the other game. It was yeah. whoever buzzed in first. Exactly. Ah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I had a lot of fun with it. I think it's really streamed down. I think 800 points yeah. is a really good price on well, it. Plus, it looks um, like they're working off of a shell system, kind of like um, yep. uh, Family Night, uh, Hasbro's Family Night, and then also uh, Pinball. Pinball FX. Yeah. yeah. And, you wouldn't know, but... And and that's the I'm best. So <laughs> that's the best. I think that's the best way for that game to go, yeah. and that should have been the way it went from the get-go. I agree. Um, and they're almost kind of doing things a, a little bit... Well, I think the second disc was really good. I had a lot of fun mm-hmm. with it. But this one, I had, I again, I had a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of new movies on there. I, yeah. I, I got a lot of. I'm. I had a great like, like ton in a row, and then it was like some fucking new moon <laughs> shit. <laughs> Twilight, some Twilight movie, and I'm like, I don't fucking know who these people are, and you I'm like, too. I'm better learn. I'm staring. Bring at up the that screen. Wikipedia page. I know. I'm gonna have to be embarrassed. I'm staring at that. No, seriously. And then they had a Captain America one in there. Yeah, they did. And I was like, this is cool. So I'm really, I'm really excited about it. I thought it was, and I think 800 points, ten dollars is a great yeah. price point. It's a great party game. Four people can play, and if you still have those old remotes from seeing it, that's even better. And it's really the format that that game needed to be yep. in from the beginning. Because I remember when the first game came it. out, and I'm like, how about you just guys, yeah. instead of putting out a new fifty dollar disc every year, you put out DLC that right. I can add onto this disc game, and they never did it. Right. And so now I like to see that hopefully this is that shell kind of system where That'd they're going to add in packs, you yeah. know, a ten dollar pack, and maybe. You know, because I did notice too at the end they add in that new round that's kind of like a you don't know and Jack I love kind that. of quick yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, they have four answers. They show up a question quick. You answer, and then they take one of them out. And they put take, a new one they in. take the right one out. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. put a new one in and cycle through. And it was really a Jack Attack kind of feel to yep. it at the end. Yeah, that's true. And so I wonder too if they kind of looked at that model of Jack, you know, the you don't know Jack coming mm-hmm. out, and then adding in those question packs mm-hmm. and saying, well, maybe we can make this work. Which right. I don't know what their line of thinking on that was, but it's the right move. Yeah. In my opinion opinion because that's what you need to do with it yeah i i think it's I, I think it's totally fun it's totally worth checking out i'll, I'll admit i didn't really like it but that's because i'm terrible at movie trivia <laughs> yeah that's, especially modern movies <laughs> if it's not like the weirdest oh. as anyone who's watched my netflix oh. viewing <laughs> can attest to if it's not the weirdest shit there is right then uh, i have no fucking clue and i love it yeah. <laughs> no because i i under i i Looking at the game, I'm like, this is actually really good. I just totally suck at this. Yeah. <laughs> and again, you know, going back, just real, I admit it's my fault. Just real quick, I did really enjoy the streamline factor of it because there yeah. is a lot of going to each new stage, and there's such a big buildup of like loading that in and making a big deal out of mm-hmm. when you play the disc games. Yeah, and it takes so long. Yeah. I mean, it would take like a half hour to play a two player game right. or more. I don't right. like the new announcer either. This seemed, well, the new announcers. He was kind of he was kind of annoying. Yes. Oh no, you didn't. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. so terrible. Can you turn it off? Did you see? I didn't even. I look. imagine you probably could. Probably. I just kind of muted it anyway. So. Until, go number like, two until the screen shows up. Did you yep. say go number two? <laughs> <laughs> but this does seem like it's much more uh, likely to be able to be something that you could just boot up on a party. Yeah, yep. and, and you know play for a little bit until people and I was, get sick of it. The only thing I worry about this kind of format is if there's not enough, like as far as the questions, like amount. Yeah, that, and you have any kind Agreed. of repeat. But there was an achievement that was like get 500 questions right or something Ooh. like, or answer 500 questions. So I don't know how that compares to what was on the discs. I can't yeah. remember. But 500 questions seems like a lot if you're facing uh, but every. It didn't say 500 different. It questions. didn't. That was that's the thing. <laughs> that's the caveat to that is that yeah. it doesn't say different. There's just two games. <laughs> well, and then you're done. It's I, I'm excited and I'll, cool. I'll be looking forward to any other DLC that comes out to it. Agreed. So I mean those those things those games are fun unless you want to you know play a little Avatar trivia party. <laughs> <laughs> Sean drumming get up your, some business. Get there. you warmed up for the 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 scene. It. <laughs> well, shall we talk about Voltron, Defender of the Universe? Yes, Voltron from Behavior, uh, uh, distributed by THQ though. Okay, uh, eight hundred Microsoft points. Yes, I didn't even look at this. So I'm are you, are you a fan should, of the old show? You should have downloaded I, it just to watch the beginning of. I'm not thing. a huge fan of the show. Uh, I had the toys, like uh-huh. a bunch of the toys. Who but one enough? This, <laughs> this, this, this is not just a game <laughs> where they're like. Okay, we have this property. We're going to make a game out of the property. Yeah. This 
game is an homage yeah. to the goddamn show. Cool. Because like even, you know, where it starts up and they show you the studios that worked on it and like the engines they use and whatever, mm-hmm. you know, it's like flipping channels between each one of them. And then nice. and, and then it's got like actual clips from the show yeah. and sound clips from the show. The whole intros from the original shows on Okay, I, I'm just gonna spoil it right so now. So it's total full on fan service. Yes. Yeah. That's good. My favorite part. Yes. I'm just gonna jump right to it. Spoil it. Uh, I had to stop the game to go like answer the door or something like that. Hit pause. And it goes, Voltron will be back in a few moments. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. That's fucking awesome. It was, it was the actual even, clip from the show. I don't even care if anything happens. <laughs> anything else about the game. That's awesome. <laughs> it was spectacular. Anyway, so with the demo... Uh, I, Did you like shit yourself when it just happened? About, because I would I, like die I, laughing. I kind of stopped going to the door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> At that point. That's super awesome. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, and so with the game, it's essentially a twin stick shooter for most yeah. of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a pretty decent twin stick shooter. Yeah. It's not like Gatling Gears or, you know, uh, Renegade, uh, Ops. Renegade Ops. It wasn't thrilling me in that sort of sense. Yeah. And at first I wasn't quite into it because especially like because you start off with the little troops and I'm yeah. like, I can't can't even fucking see yeah, these guys. Yeah, they're... Uh, but... It was tiny. I'm but like, I killed something. They, they yeah, I think you shoot around. Up, yeah, and points I was like, pop I up. killed something. Well, and after a little bit, and then when there's a lot of them, they get like that little symbol over their yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. So you can't actually see them after a while. But you can choose whichever line you want, and it does have multiplayer. I think it's just up to four. Players, I think, yeah, so. it's four. So okay. you can have multiple lines running around. Um, and so it's twin stick shooter. Essentially, you can also pounce on things yeah. using the right stick, which is great because they have like little flying ships and you can just jump on that fucker and bring it down out of the yeah. sky. And that is pretty amazing. You can jump on tanks and stuff like that. It's really uh, cool. And then uh, every line's got its own like special attack as well with the yeah. left trigger. I thought they did a really good job with that because each each one has either a special check, but they're also different stat yeah. wise too, which I thought was That's really right. cool. That's right. Yeah, they do have different stats. Yeah, I forgot about Some that. are good, better at range. Some are better closed. Yeah. Some are evened out is really cool. cool yeah yeah and so you know it, it ties into some of the episodes as well now apparently you can also form voltron and battle row beast yeah because they show clips of that but yep. you don't get to try that out in the demo and i i kind of found that a little weird i was a little upset by that because it, that's that was actually the part i was the most shaky about yeah because you know, oh, like how it plays out exactly, and it doesn't look that great in those little clips. That <laughs> maybe they that's no, oh. but but I think that's just a low video quality. Oh, so. Also, though, maybe that's why you don't play it in the demo. <laughs> it could be. It could yeah, be. I mean, that's true, right? <laughs> it could be. But you know, you know, after Ghostbusters, because I got really excited about the Ghostbusters yeah. arcade game, I was kind of like, I don't know about this Voltron game, and I played it. I'm like, this is pretty damn fun. And honestly, a, a lot of that is also nostalgia because they mm-hmm. are doing a great shout out yeah. to the a great tribute to the show. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and so I, I'm thinking about picking it up. I, I'm also I'm seriously I'm, thinking about it. I'm also it on the sa- I'm also on the same fence. But then Let's it goes it. back to that. I haven't played Renegades Ops yet with you. I know. And I'm fucker. not. I know I am a fucker. <laughs> um, Don't worry. You'll send him an invite and he'll like won't answer. Anyway. I, but no, that's not. Just, I, I it, it, we would make something work out. I'm, but, sorry, I'm sorry that 11 o'clock <laughs> on a work night. <laughs> Oh wait, you know, well, no. it was it was ten ten o'clock. Wasn't well, it? I just remember last episode you had to give me shit about not playing Dungeon <laughs> Defenders with you, and I tried to make a date. You did, and then you stomped all you over did. me. You did. I'm a stomper. If I hadn't woken up at four o'clock that morning, I would have made it. I was trying really hard. I waited twenty minutes, and then I was like, "Well, I guess Craig ain't coming around." Yeah, get to play Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Thank God, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you waited to the like the minute it turned, exactly. and then you're like, "Oh, done." That was it. Exactly right. Eleven thirty-five. Anyway, sorry to derail. <laughs> but uh, you didn't derail me. I All just right. I just pulled off to the side and let myself cool down. <laughs> um, there was really, a pit stop. He's, he's like, "Oh, a train wreck." <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, "I'm gonna watch <laughs> this whole thing." But uh, the one thing I thought was really cool too is like my uh, my my lion got hurt, and I'm out oh, on yes. the ground. I forgot about this. And I'm like. As tiny as those little troops, and I'm shooting at this big tank. Yeah. Shooting at you, and basically you have to survive until your line can recharge. Yeah. and if you can oh, do that, guys out. Yes. Yeah, you nice. the pilot ejects, and he has to fucking run around yeah. on this field with all like all these troops and these tanks and ships flying around you. And if you can survive long enough, then your line recharges, and you just jump right back. Yeah. Yeah. not the green one. Is that the nerd guy? <laughs> that is the nerd that guy. Is yeah, the that's nerd what I thought. <laughs> the owl kid. I was the black line, of course, well, for my first play. Blue. <laughs> Hopefully you weren't green, so that guy, I wouldn't want to run around as him. <laughs> <laughs> little nerd. But I liked it. I, you're fast on speed. I'm, I'm a little, you know, like I said before, I'm a little hesitant about yeah. the actual Voltron battle mode, and especially how that would work in multiplayer. Yeah, I agree. Well, I, I guess 
You just, <laughs> Do you, you just... control arms and stuff? <laughs> Maybe it's something. Sean, to... kick him. <laughs> yeah. How would you... Oh yeah, because you guys all join together. <laughs> I'll walk forward. I'll be, I'll be the black line. Uh, I'll just sit here, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We've only got two players. Extend your <laughs> going in a circle because <laughs> you're just one leg. <laughs> just I yeah, I don't know. Maybe it splits. Maybe you kind of divide from your multiplayer at that point, and you each do it individually or something. Two yeah, Voltrons. Two Voltrons. <laughs> No. You guys have to find out for the next show. Exactly. Get on it. I I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool I looking. It was fun. And uh, especially, I mean, it's just it's that whole be- beginning with the cartoon. Yeah, it, <sighs> yeah, yeah I, I, that does a lot for it. It's not but, the, it's not the best twin stick shooter, but it's also not a bad. Twin yeah, stick exactly. Shooter. And then you add that with the cool the nostalgia stuff. It's even I think for ten bucks, it's not bad at all. That's so. right. It's also ten bucks. Yeah, yeah that's no. another factor. Cool. There. So, all right. Is that it for XBLA? You guys have anything else? No. no. XBLA. Oh, oh, you know what? I did hear a rumor. <laughs> to do XBLIG. I did hear a rumor that, speaking of that. Pinball FX2 that we talked about. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard a rumor that in a couple weeks is the new Marvel tables. That's all I need. So I've been holding on to money. I've been holding on to money for because those. that. Yeah. Oh my God. That's, a good, that's a good plan. <laughs> so I heard two weeks. The 9th of December, I think, is the rumor I saw. Tell me rumors about DC tables, damn it. A I bunch, can't tell you There's that. a bunch of uh, shrink-wrapped games sitting on your table, <laughs> crying themselves to sleep <laughs> right now. Fuck them. <laughs> Knowing that this is coming out. Oh, you know what? I want a Skyrim table. <laughs> Then what would you do? Your head would explode. Oh my god! If they just played like that Skyrim <laughs> score, like while you're playing it, that'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, could you imagine a whole like Bethesda oh tables, god. like Fallout table? I would love like a brutal legend table. Yeah, that'd be good too. Like any of those properties, but I want the Bethesda game. For some reason, that one it just you just want to turn all the world into a pinball table. I do. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so, I don't <laughs> so I'm talking about that, I won't Teach think about the world else. to sing. Show there. Thank you. <laughs> How about some Disneyland Connect? We'll do some Connect Disneyland Adventures. Um, he got it right. <laughs> not according to Xbox. <laughs> a lot of it, it, it's a lot in the lines of Connect Adventures, but there's a whole but like Disney? catch fetch quest act, uh, you know attribute attribute to it. Hey, that's cool aspect aspect. <laughs> but um, you, you're just Quality. walking in. Yes, you're Element. walking into we got Disneyland. It. We, got it. we covered. You're walking into Disneyland. <laughs> you're like of a course, the th- source over there. <laughs> what was that? A the th- <laughs> You like a fuck a thesaurus over there. The coolest thesaurus ever. A fuck a thesaurus. A fuck a thesaurus. I think that was the cr- late Cretaceous period. <laughs> they haven't found any of those bones. <laughs> the fuck a thesaurus. Those they are, were all you those worn deep out. Deep underground. <laughs> those bones were worn out. This is the best review of a Disney game ever. <laughs> I said fuck like four times already. <laughs> Should we just we start are, that? We over? are a family show. <laughs> we are. Disneyland Adventures. This is why we don't record at night. I had a lot of fun with the game. <laughs> um, just from the get-go, just starting off, I've never been to Disneyland, and now I could say I have. But uh, no, no, I really, I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, there's a lot of interaction with every character that you come across that's a Disney character or part of the ride. There's Karen, the park guide, who I like talking to because she gives you all these little insights to the park and all these Karen. little tidbits. She's awesome. And she's yeah. like, hey, come here. And then you're like, what? <laughs> and you go running over to her. Um, so you, you pretty much walk from places in the park. Uh, at the very beginning, it's pretty easy. You're just doing some quests for like Mickey and a couple quests for Goofy. Can I stop and... you with this bullshit at the beginning what? here? Real yeah. quick? Okay. So first off, it's, it's a terrible game because you're, you're a kid by yourself at the park and you have no parents. And I don't know. Awesome. They're just sending him into the park by himself, it's, running around. You were brought it's there ter- by a magic golden ticket. This is terrible, right? It's just like it's it's a like a kidnap game is what, <laughs> waiting to happen. So you're just a kid on your Why own do you hate running childhood around. Dreams. Listen, no. So you run up to Mickey and they're like, "Oh, there's Mickey." The ticket tells you to go talk to Mickey, and Mickey's like, "Oh, get, or yeah, he wants you to get this autograph, right?" Yeah. So Mickey's like, "Hey." Take go this get and get, Donald, go get Donald's autograph yeah. for me. And you're like, oh, I love Mickey Mouse. I'll do that for you. <laughs> and you go get Donald's autograph. This is you bring, This is your entry into the Disney Mafia. Okay, but listen to this. <laughs> you start by doing these you're little like, oh, I love running Mickey. things. I'll then do this Goofy's for you, asking Mickey. you to run swag for, or skag for him. Why would I not do a favor for Mickey? You're like the best. You're like yeah. the king of Disney. <laughs> so I will go do that. You go get your autograph from Donald. You take it back to Mickey. He goes, oh, actually, this book was for Goofy. And you're like, fucker, I didn't do a favor for Goofy. I did a favor for Mickey. 
Yeah, but Mickey I was go giving get an... it to Goofy. Well, yeah, but it's like, hey, Sean, Mickey... could you go get this thing for me at the store? And you're like, yeah. And, you're like, and then you show up and I go, hey, could you go take that to my grandma's house? Because it was for her. Oh, come, oh come yeah. On. If people idolized you, you would totally abuse I the agree. fuck out of that. I... <laughs> We're not talking about me. I agree if I had to come back to you. So yeah. you're admitting and Mickey's what? a prick. Why? No, Why it's just go get me some fucking ice cream. It's just, it's just you all know fetch quests. Let's just throw that in the trash. Why don't you go throw in the trash way up on that hill? So, so as you, so you're oh, well, no, you're agreeing with track. me that Mickey's a prick because that's my point exactly. He hugs you in the game, right? And then and has you go do things you. for other people. And dances with you. I'm just saying, maybe I wouldn't have done it for Goofy. Maybe yeah. I don't like Goofy. So if he would have said, "Hey, can you go get this autograph for Goofy for me?" and I'd be like, "I don't really like Goofy." You and your Goofy hate. Anyway, that was my experience with the game. Well, you really didn't Dance have to do any of that. You could have just <laughs> went to the first attraction. I, I guess. play games wrong. I guess that was that's your perfect trope on showing you how to play the game. Uh, not you're a we fucking any, kid I know, lost in Disneyland. This is why we don't get any review being copies lost of around by <laughs> people wearing costumes. Okay, it's but, not real fucking life. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's, I didn't. We look got at, an angry Sean. I didn't <laughs> know. I won't, come on! I don't understand the argument I'm, here. I'm pretty sure that's what the back of the box said. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many times have you played a game where they set you on a fetch quest and you go back to that fucking person yeah. and they're like, oh, we'll go drop it off to this guy. And you're like, well, fuck you. But you end up doing it. Right. Yeah. So you're saying it's okay for me to say fuck you to Mickey. Well, you can't in the game. That's the problem. Exactly. If you could, maybe. Now that'd be sweet. Now we got down to it. This is, why, this is why I remember when we were in the car and I was like, I'm glad you played Disneyland Adventures. I said, because I'm not going to do that game any justice when I talk about playing it. <laughs> this is why. Oh. <laughs> So anyway, tell me about how the real game plays. Well, then I went on the Matterhorn. Done. I went on the Matterhorn, oh, Matterhorn. Mm-hmm. and that was fun. Uh, that what you pretty much did. Like some of them, some of these attractions and some of the fetch quests, you don't have to do all the fetch quests. You can go to the map, and it's great that it's connect because it's all vocal, mm-hmm. which is really oh, cool. Nice. You can maneuver through it really awesome. Oh, that's great. So you can just go. They sure to... have like honed in on that, haven't they? Yeah. In this last oh year. yeah. Goodness. The last yeah. six months, because that's really good stuff. And it's. I mean, I. It. I really, and it's 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 getting tighter and tighter all the time. Um, but you can fast track to the attractions if you want to. Or if you want to walk through the park. Mm-hmm. The only problem I have, if they would have just taken a little nod from Rise of Nightmares on how you walk through the park, because you push your hand out. That's a sentence I never thought I would do. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you know what Disneyland Adventures could learn from? Rise of Nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously. But seriously. I agree. I you, wish I could have killed Mickey. Because you press, you press your arm out yes. to move. Yes. It's more like a yeah, cursor yeah. and you're moving them. Yeah. And if they would have just did the arm thing where I you agree. could walk fast, that's cool. But you can fast track to these other attractions. Mm-hmm. too so then it doesn't even matter yeah um but i like i didn't like the moving with your arm out yeah because then it also mirrors your character on the screen so he's running around with his arms sticking out front the whole time a little bit weird a little bit i always have the camera in one hand and then the the you know my moving with the other gotcha but i i really enjoyed like some of those aspects and then you go like the matterhorn Mm -hmm. and that was like a three-part uh, thing where you're like on a toboggan mm-hmm. with uh, Goofy, and then he's skiing next to you, and you're being attacked by Yeti. Jeremy wouldn't like that. And then you have a snowball fight he with Yetis, that fucker off. and that yeah, was I'd be awesome. Doing it by my own choice, then <laughs> a snowball fight with Yetis. Yes, I'm that's and you're throwing cool. snowball fight nice. snowballs at him, and then you go skiing some more. And I really like that because then some of the other levels. Um, like I did one for a Tinkerbell level and I had to just copy their moves. Mm-hmm. And then, so some of them are almost like connect adventures in that sense where you're, yeah. you're riding the rapids type of thing, but you're <clears throat> tobogganing or mm-hmm. whatever. And then there's other ones where you have to do the move. And there was like, it's a small world. You had to do the dance that the people are doing. Oh no. Yeah. But you only had to do it once, the thing, the, which I thought was awesome. It is. I mean, no shocker. I mean, duh, but it is really kitty. Oh yeah. You know, but did you find stuff out of there that you enjoyed like with connect adventures? Because connect adventures, I'd say is more of a, in, like a family inclusive kind sure. of thing. Yeah. Uh, but you could play it still as an adult and be, you know, yeah. you at least getting a workout and having fun. But is this more like some of the I stuff think, you were doing more along the lines of like really kitty? I think it's really kitty, but at the same time, I really liked the animation. I really mm-hmm. liked the story because like the Tinkerbell one, you're she, the other fairies are telling a story and you have to help them out. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was really neat. It was just an aspect to it, and like you get pins and you get you know coins because of course you get coins to buy stuff, so you can buy outfits, t-shirts, mm-hmm. hats. Or wait, do you get like autograph books? Do you get like photo books? Pins? You get pins. <laughs> like are no, they all they're different? awesome. Looking. Are they different? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well, there's like a silver, bronze, gold, platinum, yeah. but it they're done really cool. I bought a couple Chippendale pins because I just. <laughs> but they're all them. different kinds, right? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, no, they're like the real Disney pins. That <laughs> a little that bit. A little bit. Because <laughs> i got collection problems. So, <laughs> so, like, a little bit of that aspect I like to the game. Yeah. I want to play some more of it. Um, but, yeah. I'll tell you what stopped me playing it. I, I didn't get past that opening part, and this is why. Because my wife walked by, mm-hmm. and it immediately is one of those games where it stopped playing. And it's like, oh, you're no longer on the screen. Oh, somebody else came on. You're on the screen. And it switched out my character. Yeah. It now put me in like player two, mm-hmm. even though somebody just walked by. Mm-hmm. And I hate those games. Because it's and the so, jump in. And I was like super mad because it was taking like, I had to leave and like restart the game and then sign me in like eight times. Like I always complain oh, really? about with Connect. Yeah. I so, never had a problem. I know, but I'm an idiot. So I just stopped <laughs> playing it and I got all mad. And I'm, so that's why I didn't play anymore. <laughs> I, I, I had to stop playing. And I was mad at Mickey already. All right. <laughs> I just had this. I haven't said hi to Mickey since I had to deal with his last night. I wouldn't Because I'm not a big f- fan of Mickey. <laughs> Pluto's badass, though. I, I was bet. hanging out with him a little bit. <laughs> and Mad Hatter. Some of this stuff is really cool. Yeah. And then, like, I went through... Uh, then the kind of the graphics change for the... Uh, when you go through this other game, I went into the Alice in Wonderland game. Mm-hmm. And it went to, like, this almost... A deep cell around, like a, a thick line around mm-hmm. the characters, and almost looked like it looked like an animation. Nice. Like you were watching, and your character even changed a little bit too. That's cool. cool. So I thought that was really neat. Cool. They needed to just stick with avatars. I don't know why they just didn't do that. <laughs> it, it makes more sense to me that way because you get uh, to pick your character and how he kind of looks, but my character ended up looking, I made him look like myself. So it's, he's it's even hard wearing though, because there's only hoodie. like four things you could choose from. Yeah, but you can, well, I mean, you. I guess my hair was not the kind of game you expect to spend an hour and a half creating your character. I did. I didn't do it. (laughs) But I. But I. I just went with the black kid. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I I, the coolest. I thought it was. I. I really had a lot of fun with what I played, and I just. I. I rode the teacups because you can ride the rides too. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And I thought that was neat. There, I rode a roller coaster. (laughs) It was. It was. It was fun. All right. Yeah. You know what's funny though? Uh, rewind this show like a year back, and we were all like, oh, "I don't think I'm going to get a connect, whatever." Well, but I knew that, <laughs> and now, and, but today we're talking about, oh, you know what's totally awesome? They're totally <laughs> incorporating more voice commands into yeah, Connect. It's true. I barely, <laughs> but I, I'll be honest with you, I have it, but I barely ever play it because uh, it irritates me. Uh-huh. It doesn't yeah, irritate I'm, me at all. That's I good. It. That's I good. I'm glad but, but I think I was the only one who was like, I would totally get a connect if I could, have, could afford it. It's right. true. <laughs> because you're positive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this about me, but I tend to not be. What? <laughs> Once in a while. Once in a while. I get negative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Moving out of the corner? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Should I talk a little bit more Saints Row? If you'd like third? to. I will, this will probably be the last I talk about Saints Row unless Aww. I buy this game, which I'm thinking about buying it down the road. Far down the road. Maybe $20 <laughs> seller. But I've actually played it. I actually played... Was that for all the, the listeners who might be buying you Christmas gifts? Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> pass I'm on not. It. I am not buying it tomorrow. <laughs> So I don't have it as of you <laughs> listening to this. So. If I don't have it by January, I'll probably buy it. <laughs> no. I'll buy it if it's cheap because I had a lot of fun with it. I went back and actually played the game through. The campaign's a little bit on uh, it. I, I play. I think I put in like forty some hours, forty three hours. That's a lot. In it. That is a lot. Well, my first like eight was not even doing anything. So. I know, but that's but that's you were a doing lot of stuff. Time. Yeah, I was doing stuff, but. <laughs> You can't but um, say you weren't doing anything. But I haven't done anything in Skyrim for ninety hours now. <laughs> You've done stuff, but exactly. I, but hey, I, I will know. The packs will tell stuff us. No one can speak of the packs. <laughs> the packs. Uh, but but uh, I I got to meet the cast of characters finally, and okay, there yeah. was uh, oh because you were just messing around, so now yeah. you've actually played the story. I actually played the story. Medica, I I went and saved this pimp. I got to tell the story. He was a pimp. <laughs> Do it. Because I have a problem with some of the missions, and that's what my my nitpick about sure. about this game. But this pimp, like he was carrying around this cane, and it had like a microphone at the end of it, mm-hmm. and he spoke an autotone, but he never brought the cane up to his mouth. And I'm like sitting there going the whole time, like, what the? F- this animation's shit. <laughs> well, then they showed a close up. He has a trach ring. So he's talking through the trach ring in his throat, auto-tune with this cane that's a microphone. This guy's a pimp. Nice. <laughs> so then you go on all these missions. And that changed his perspective of the whole game. <laughs> yeah. Well, then there's, would. there's like... There's if like, Mickey did that, I wouldn't have been mad at him. There's all these dudes. <laughs> there's like these... Mickey's trach ring. You go on this like rickshaw race with these dudes wearing ball gags and harnesses on their nice. backs. It's like some of this stuff is over the top, really over the top. Yeah, yeah. And those were like some of my nitpicks. And it's mostly like the the, the sex ones. Mm-hmm. 
And there are some in there where it's just like, ugh, I want to get past this. Uh, there's a dildo bat. Yeah, well. I mean, yeah, <laughs> come on. There's a couple. Nothing should be surprising after that. That thing's funny when it when you run and it just wobbles. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> you just totally backtracked on everything you were saying. I know. But, <laughs> but there's but success. But there's, that's a weapon. And I've seen Come on. You know, oh, but sex is a weapon is okay. <laughs> but there's some other like parts that's the like, only way I can use it. <laughs> well they have like these choose your own adventure not choose your own adventure. I'm in. But they I know, I know you are. That's why I was trying to say it. But you can that. either there's like this one part where you're in this like you try to stop this sex sex slave trade ring. Uh-huh. Right? So like the at the end the guy's like, well, why don't I pay you a bunch of money for the right. ladies, or so you have you can make more money from air them? Here, moral choices. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so either I could sell them to this guy, and he's going to do whatever he wants yeah. to them, and I can make a huge amount of money now, or I can put them to work for me. So there's really no good answer. And I was right. like, it's how bad do you want to be? I know, and I'm like, well, I guess that's the way I'm going to be. Are I'm going to be bad or worse. I know. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> want to sell them off, but I guess I'm going to sell them off and make money. Right. Uh, <laughs> but like some of those choices were really yeah. weird. And that was usually the sex ones, but the rest were really cool. Some of the other side missions were really neat. I got to when meet... I just had to shoot people. I had no problem. Yeah. With I have no right, problem right. with that. <laughs> well, when you open a, like a container and there's like a moving ugh, sex toy thing, it's gross. Anyway, <laughs> What was that? And then I got I to meet know. the I got I to meet the happening. mayor, and the mayor was Black awesome. Man. Yeah, the mayor was kick ass, and I was like, it was the coolest moment of the game for me. Like, not coolest, but really cool. Yeah. Um, also, I liked how at the very end you get to choose at the very last you get to choose what to do, but they also allow you that that's where your save is, and they even tell you, well, you can go back and then get to see how the other end is. Oh, that's and nice. There's two like two main endings to this game, which were really fun. Um, but good for them. I mean, that, and that's a testament maybe to like what they want to yeah. have. With, yeah. Literally, they are actually in uh, some areas. I think, but it, it's nice that they you know know that this game is fun, and they're like, this is really not that serious. Yeah. So you can from see the, both ends. If from you all want. the reviews I've read and heard, that, that's kind of the the lines that everyone yeah. is really gelling on is that it's just about creating these wacky fun yeah. moments. That's and, awesome. and that's and that's what I was doing, and I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, some of the you side know, missions... Wacky sex trade. <laughs> exactly. Some of <laughs> the know? side missions were really cool. There was... Uh, I kind of mentioned something on the forums about it, but there was a thing like Burnout Showtime where you explode the cars, mm-hmm. but this was a f- uh, insurance fraud, so what you did was you bounced off of cars, right. but you were a rag doll essentially, yeah. and the higher and further you went, the more money you made, which I thought was really fun to it's play awesome. some of it's those. It's almost like out of the, the skating games. Skate, yeah. yeah. When you would try to to hurt yourself yes. as much and then like break as many bones yeah. as possible. That was awesome. And then there was a couple other ones where you awesome. were like driving this four wheeler and you're on fire. It's like off the wall crazy fun. Yeah. And those racing ones were really fun. So cool. I had a lot of fun playing the rest of that game. I out. played a little bit of it. Uh, I I just I wanted to see what it was all about at the beginning mm-hmm. um, and kind of see how it looked. Uh, I didn't get any for like really far into it at all. I just did the opening couple of mission things. Yeah. But I could tell already from there. I mean, I made this like big huge chick with dreads yeah and she was awesome when she was skydiving at the beginning <laughs> it was uh... and it's just i mean it's it, the dialogue's funny uh the stuff at the beginning was a little over the top you know obviously yeah. a yeah. lot over the top but even stuff was still making me laugh right. which i was kind of expecting that it was going to walk that line of maybe it was so mo- over the top that it's yeah. not that it, funny it, it didn't cross the border or the bullet storm line yeah, yeah. no it didn't at all you know because you know even with that in particular, it was that parachute thing where she's like going down and catches that chick. Yeah. Or, or I was playing a girl, so she ch- catches that other chick, and yeah. she's like, "You're an asshole." True. Yeah. And I'm like, "That's awesome." Well, and that you know, that's the kind of funny that I want. Right there. <laughs> True. I uh, I uh, I recommend it. It's fun. That's cool. <sighs> yeah. And then you get a cool plane that turns into a hover plane. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. <sighs> See, there's so much there's a hover bike too. Well, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say that. We're going to But no, I thought it was really neat because like right off the get-go, you can go to a heliport, take a helicopter yeah. and you're done. And it's all open. The only thing that's not open is a big like place in the middle where it's like a secure area where mm-hmm. it's the police are at. It's it's pretty sweet. I don't, that's all I got to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm gonna, I want to I want to spend more time with it, but Skyrim is derailed me from everything it's really made it hard for me to get yeah. into other stuff right now which i hate <sighs> i i mean i love the game yeah. but i i really i kind of get bummed on the other side when i'm playing it like all these other things that i'm not playing sure. like saint row the third that i should be liking and playing and assassin's yeah, yeah. creed there's some really neat we'll parts in that too yeah i bet <sighs> so speaking of skyrim i'll go off on a little bit more of that if you okay. guys don't mind uh 
It's awesome. <laughs> I, I was talking to Craig, <laughs> talking to Craig this week. I have officially surpassed, and this isn't really much of an achievement for for most folks because I know <laughs> that's true. But I have, in comparison, in my in my own uh, playing, I've surpassed now how much time I've spent with Oblivion ever. Right in that's Skyrim nice. already in like three four weeks or whatever it is. Uh, so I, I'm like past ninety. And you were playing Oblivion for a long, I mean, over a, a span of time. I had it yeah for a long, long period of time. time. So that's why I'm like six months from now. I wonder how much I'm going to have on Skyrim, but. Uh, I've been loving it. It's fantastic. One thing I didn't mention last time because I was talking about so much of it is the score. Yeah. Which I could sit and just listen to that game. Mm -hmm. And it is so amazing. Like, uh, they have a four disc release that's coming out or oh, yeah. maybe it's out now I, I know you could pre-order it a while ago but it's the the score from the game and it's four discs because there's so much stuff right and i'm really looking forward to that stuff because it sounds so good i and i, I was talking to somebody uh johnny you from the boards yes, yes um and from the burnt wieners podcast we were talking about uh the the soundtrack and he's like well have you gotten it because i'm i've been listening to it and it's all, i'm like i don't really think i would sit and listen to it ever <laughs> and he's like oh i would it's awesome and then the last couple of days, I've been listening to it, and I haven't played Skyrim in the last three days. Mm -hmm. So I've been listening to it, and it's been torture. Like, yeah. I haven't been letting myself play because I've been trying to play some other things. And so I almost have to, like, deny myself mm -hmm. playing it. Uh, and so I was listening to the soundtrack. I might, I might have to take myself off the show. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's embarrassed. Uh oh. <laughs> so... I, I was listening to it today, <laughs> and it was amazing. It's, are we going to have to make like a uh, Jeremy's Skyrim corner, and that's going to be your contribution to, it every, might have to be. every episode? Yeah, it might have to be. <laughs> because I was listening to it today, and it was like torture. Because I was like, why am I sitting here at work like listening to this? And I haven't played in like three days, and it's all I want to do now. Because it gets so ingrained. I mean, after yeah. 90 hours, oh, yeah. it gets so ingrained, and they, they play it so smart in the game. I mean, it's the same way it was in Fallout and mm -hmm. any of those games, right. where it's so underneath, mm -hmm. and it's so in the background, and there's all the cues are done by by sound, right. and you don't really realize... I mean, you do realize it while you're playing it, but it becomes so ingrained in how yeah. the game plays right. that you they like lead you by that you know your level up is a sound when you see enemies it's a sound mm -hmm. and it's all done by you can all, always tell what's happening on screen by the noise that's happening yeah. and that's brilliant to me and when you can sit there and listen to it and it's giving you the same like kind of reactions yeah it's just really weird that's cool and odd but it was it's a great thing uh my character is being awesome i finished out some more of the the guilds or whatever they are in the game yeah. like the the college for the mages or the the magic thing i haven't been too impressed with those storylines uh oh, yeah. it's been they've been kind of disappointing actually huh. and i've been making it a point to go through like the thieves uh guild or whatever it's called in the in the college with the the mages and i was pushing through them specifically in doing those and i found i was just having a lot more fun when i would go off and explore on my own sure. and do stuff and doing these missions was kind of like annoying huh. i don't know why I was just I ran into some roadblocks with some of those that I was doing. Uh, I did go ahead and get my hor my horse, my uh, house all organized mm -hmm. because I was putting everything in one chest. Mm -hmm. And what no, I had I forgotten from Oblivion, Your magic chest, right? What I had forgotten from Oblivion is that loading everything into one chest means that it takes about five seconds per item to remove or add something <laughs> oh yeah because it's loaded with basically right thousands of literally thousands of items right so now i have uh i don't know 10 or 15 no 10 probably 10 things in the house that are like a barrel that has all my food in it uh a chest that has all my books in it uh another cabinet that has all of my ingredients in that's it. awesome so everything is organized by like dressers and uh end tables and chests and drawers and everything else and it's awesome they got so now make... i go into my house when i drop stuff off and i just run around like eight different spots to do, like empty out the people, things that are all like tied together people are going to come visit your house they're like hey can i borrow a fork and then they open up a drawer and like cheese will come <laughs> flying out into their face and that's... breads and stuff and i'll be like are you an idiot that's not the object drawer <laughs> It's the food drawer. I want to steal your shit. Don't go to my gem drawer. I would, that play, would, that, I would play that game if, if it I was multiplayer. Come into your house and steal your shit. <laughs> I, I would never let you play my he game would, if he would. Then Jeremy would make it his uh, his quest to murder you. Well, then they, he could. see that's the thing. They would I just find... sit in the corner. <laughs> Wait for him to walk in. Yeah. <laughs> you, you'd be out there for hours, <laughs> just sitting there. <laughs> Motherfucker's gonna be on. He said. I, he'd be like, "Hey, Jeremy, where are you at? I'm over here in the mountains somewhere." <laughs> he'd be walking in my house, and I'd be sitting back there with a bow. 
Well, you can have, out. you can lock the door and set up like. Well, then I would play and, and, and just like, That'd be sweet. like throw rocks at your door and stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you what, going around and getting that shit and then getting it back to my house and like maintaining my collections. Uh, that would not be sweet to have somebody come in and fuck that up. Or I don't burn think you're it down. This game right. <laughs> I'm playing it exactly right. Burn your house down. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean I'm not playing it right? It's the big collecting game, right? It's all just about got got to got to catch them all. <laughs> Get the so precious. That is totally exactly what it is. Uh, uh, but I am doing some different things with my character right now, which is far uh, I don't usually use enchanted items because mm-hmm. uh, I don't like to deal with that. Because with enchantments in the game, they do run out, and you have to refill them with. Sure. Uh, the soul gems, which you pick up the gems and you have to refill them with souls. So you have mm-hmm. to capture souls, which is usually done through a magic spell or something like that. Um, but I don't like dealing with that. Mm-hmm. But I did find a bow that captures, as long as you kill, the the bow itself is enchanted. Uh-huh. And the enchantment that it has is it captures spirits as long as they die within 15 seconds of getting hit by it. Mm-hmm. So it's a pretty powerful bow, bow. So usually I can just load up a bunch of empty gems. Right. And when I kill them, it absorbs it for me. So I'm just like refilling all these soul gems and then switching over to another bow that I have that's super awesome. And it has magic powers now, too, where it's like freezing and electricity and everything. So nice. Uh, so now I'm like playing this whole different way with these enchanted weapons, which is a different experience for me. And it's a lot of fun. And I like stealing everybody's souls. Because I'm kind of a prick now, I guess. I have this feeling that next episode, Jeremy's going to show up wearing like a cloak and like this hood over his head. And <laughs> Your brother's soul is mine. <laughs> I killed three people on the way here. <laughs> I mean, from my car to your door. Right, is right. that a problem? Uh, well, no. Nobody saw. Don't worry. We needed the points. <laughs> And we need the points. I, he's level. He's grinding. I am. I'm grinding <laughs> all over your neighborhood. Uh, so it's a different way for me to play. You know, just in the, and that's only been the last couple hours. So that's yeah. been kind of a different experience, and that's been kind of fun. I like changing it up oh, a little cool. bit. Uh, and I lost my my awesome horse. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I had this. That's n- the problem with horses in games. But no, I fucking lose them all the time. But I had this name. Like, where the fuck did my horse go? This name. I agree. Specific horse that I had was war, and he disappeared. Yeah, and this was like an awesome. Like it was. Yeah, exactly. It was that kind of scenario. Yeah. Where it was a named horse that was supposed to be like a. You know, you yeah. actually earn it. Yeah. And I had it, and she was fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, she would. I would. She was super aggressive. So I would get off. I would usually ride her around, but then I would get off of her when we were like at a thieves like hangout or whatever. And I would be trying to sneak up on them. And sometimes they'd see me Mm -hmm. and she would take off the minute I was threatened by anybody. She would take off and go like beat the shit out of them. (laughs) So it was usually like a, a a bowman that would see me like somebody Mm -hmm. up on a high Mm -hmm. perch that would shoot me. And so she's running upstairs (laughs) like these like little tiny fucking thin stairs. And she's up there like beating the shit out of them. (laughs) And she was pretty much indestructible because she's the one like through the Dark Brotherhood that they kind of yeah. give you. And she can't be killed unless you like ride her off of a cliff that's all huge, which mm. I don't do. But she can also climb mountains like more than you could. <laughs> like so you're just riding her and she's like climbing up mountains and shit. She was awesome. Cool. And I got some other horse by accident, some oh. other named one, which is also like a fancy one in the yeah. game. But it's she was like super black and had red or like dark dark brown and had red eyes and she was evil and awesome that's awesome and they're supposed to go to when you own them they're supposed to go to like your stable uh-huh. and so she hasn't shown back up at the stable so huh. i don't know if she's in process of getting there from somewhere and she will show up at some point <laughs> she's on, on she's route. out beating someone's you, ass she you probably need, is you need to go she's to the website and check the tracking number but it was it was awesome <laughs> she's for names before she gets back dragons too yeah. dragons would go for her and she would sit there and beat the shit like like distract them and they couldn't hurt her so then I would just hang back and shoot everybody with my arrow. And it's like trying to breathe fire on her. And she's like, whatever. <laughs> and then like it would land and she would go up and punch it in the face. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. So I miss her. She's awesome. Shadow is that, Mare. Is that a tear, tear there? It is. My only tear <laughs> for the year. You've used it up. No. That's right. I think we've established that on a previous show. Wow, I've, continuity. I have one tear. That's right. It was, I just wasted it on Shadow Mare. Well, that's not a waste. It's not. It's not a. It's a waste if she shows back up. <laughs> no. Then you, what am I going to cry then, about? Then she knows you care. That's true. <laughs> uh, and then the only other thing I have about the game, and this is bad timing with the year, I think, it makes me cold. <laughs> because you're walking around in snow all the time, and like you go into like these ice caverns. Yeah, yeah. And I'm playing it, and I just get it's completely psychosomatic, and Weird. I get like completely frozen. Like I get super cold, <laughs> and I have like the wind blowing, and like everything just makes me cold about the game. That's. <laughs> 
That's funny. That's weird. It's That's a cool, fun though. aspect. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm not good when it's like 30 degrees out now, though. Yeah. It was fine when it was like 60. <laughs> now I'm actually like literally cold. You got blankets on. <laughs> I do. Your, your winter jacket. I'll take a picture. I have a stocking hat. And like, <laughs> oh, like you got to always play games with a stocking cap on. Wow. Oh, love it. I don't know. What? <laughs> so I'm continuing. That's to, the only way I roll, man. Continuing to play Skyrim. I love it. Imagine that. I, I love it. <laughs> it. It's amazing to me how much is in the game. Yeah. And and there's so much stuff that would normally be DLC. Yeah. For any other company. Sure. All these Daedric quests, all of these, they have these dragon priests. There's like nine of them in the game that you have to take out in different areas. That would all be like perfectly fine, like DLC. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And that would be something that somebody would pay $15, $20 for mm -hmm. as like a separate add on. And they're just in the game as these other things that don't even ever get mentioned hardly. And that, you know, you can go seek out. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to. And it's just amazing to me, the amount of content. So That's nice. cool. It's really good to see. Hey, I played some more uh, GoldenEye Reloaded. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. It's uh, And how'd that go for you? <laughs> huh. How to describe it. Um, Doesn't sound... <laughs> is it going to be another angry Craig? Nah. Um, no. Okay, good. No. Like, like, Although the people mild, love the angry mildly Craig. Mildly frustrated. I don't, yeah, but I don't you, know if you noticed. You don't want to overdo that. <laughs> You know what you're doing. <laughs> you're playing those people. Uh, you got to make them want more. You're playing uh, those people. <laughs> no, uh, a... there's a fucking part towards the end of that game where it is just ridiculous. It is it is seriously bad. And uh, because because it's like you get to this area and there's all the scaffolding and you have to get across all the scaffolding. Mm -hmm. Right. And so you're like and there's like a bajillion dudes like running across the scaffolding. They're coming across ones below you so they can come from behind and yeah. shoot at you. And, and it's, it's just Dick city there. And, <laughs> and Dick city, that'd be a good game. We're returning to Dick city. And then, and then they could have <laughs> volcanoes. Yes. <laughs> volcanoes and Dick city. Yes. Um, and, uh, it's a sequel, but, uh, and there's like barely any cover cause this is all scaffolding and there's like little sheets of metal, but yeah. most of the metal, if it gets shot, then it becomes not cover anymore. Mm -hmm. And there's a few pieces that are fine. And then you get on like uh, areas that are. And if the dudes are on the same scaffolding, there's nowhere to hide. There's no fucking where to hide. That's great. And <laughs> and I got what was worst of all was I got stuck there um, because I grabbed this weapon and I'm like, oh sweet silencer, so so you know I could sneak around, mm -hmm. not realizing at the end of the game they're like. Fuck being a spy. You're just going to shoot everybody, motherfucker. <laughs> and so uh, some of the weapons with silencers, because, you know, with like your pistol. You can more die hard you, at the end. You can, put it James on, you can put the silencer on and take it off yeah. and stuff because the silencer weakens it. But, you know, it makes it so you can't get hurt. Uh, some of those guns, if they come equipped with like a silencer and other things, I think they're labeled as multiple or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can't take that shit off. Huh. So, so I was fucking stuck with a shotgun. And uh, a pretty good shotgun, but, you know, most of these dudes were like 100 feet away from yeah, me, right, right. shooting me in the head. And, uh, and so a shotgun and a permanently uh, weakened gun. Nice. And uh, did I mention that it's got all these scaffoldings? And so it looks like, oh, I can just, you know, try to make my best route there. Uh, but then a laser shoots out ha all of the paths except <laughs> one. So you're kind of it's. So, you you know, you, you go through all this rigmarole. I'm like, I'm going to try going this way. Zap. Oh. I guess I have to go back all the way. Did I mention I had two minutes to do this in, no, by the way? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you can kind of tell where the shit storm's starting. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm not looking forward to... I, I I am probably not going to try 007 Classic mode, because that's the one where <laughs> Good idea. it's the old style and you have to pick up body armor, especially because I've played a couple levels on 007 Classic, and I have not seen a single piece of body armor cool. in the whole damn game. <laughs> um, Maybe your smartphone will find it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Maybe. <damn it. laughs> I didn't see any icons <laughs> popping up yeah, there. That's too bad. But uh, I also tried out the um, MI6 ops okay, yeah, some of the stuff. And so they kind of have three different modes. Um, I did not try all of them out. I know one is an elimination mode, so you have to try and eliminate guys as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. I think one is... One is like a protection mode, and so like you're trying to decrypt these computers or whatever, and you have to hold off the the enemy waves while that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, and 
I can't remember the last mode, but so basically there's three types and then there's multiple different levels for each one of those. Uh, I mostly played the elimination one cause I was trying to figure it out cause you can get star ratings for them, mm-hmm. up to four stars for each one. And, uh, basically you can, before you go into the game, you have all these modifiers that you can adjust. So you can adjust things to make it simpler for you or adjust things to make it harder for you. And that adjusts like this base score. And then that base score is like multiplied by how much time you yeah. used. And mm-hmm. that gets you your, mul- your total score there. Um, and I have fucking made it hell in in that elimination mode and i still fucking can't get four stars hmm. on that thing like i've ramped up the grenade um aggressiveness to not as high as it can go nine i've i've ramped up like their aggressiveness so they don't run away from me anymore they just run straight at me <laughs> yeah. to like nine uh i decreased my health to half their health up to times four i believe wow. jesus <laughs> and i beat them all in like i mean it took me five minutes which wasn't my fastest time but and I, I did like 50 guys or something like that because you can adjust the, the amount of guys. And uh, yeah, nothing. It's, Weird. it's fucking three stars. Ugh. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't fucking know what. I mean, it's got like these these massive ones where like you can activate like the golden guns where you can kill guys with just one shot and you have like infinite ammo on it. But, you know, that massively decreases. I also noticed it's a little it's a little squidgy. It's a little fucked up. Yeah. I got to admit, because um, speaking of fucked up, I'll, I'll come back to that. But uh <laughs> Because you change these modifiers and it constantly changes like the total, mm-hmm. but the order that you do it in changes things. Like if you flip on a multiplier and then you flip it back off, it's not necessarily going to go back to the number that it was before you flipped it on. Awesome. That's weird. So I found that if you, <laughs> I found that if you activate your negative multipliers, you know the things that make it easier first and then ramp up the difficulty. Yeah, you get the most points out of it. <laughs> Essentially nice. is how it works. That's weird. I know it's it's weird. Uh, Maybe it's not giving you four stars because you're gaming the system. Uh, I did game the system. Um, <laughs> I have a I have a secret to you guys. Oh no! I, I got I got two achievements on those stars. Um, I haven't really played anything other than that elimination mode because uh, there are cheat codes. Nice that you can put in. Yeah, and apparently I, I don't know exactly which one it is, but if you go and look, find all six cheat codes and you put them in, and then you play one ops. It's going to give you all this, like, you go in there and it's, like, all stars. So you just have to play, wow. like, one level. Although I fucked up because I played that one ops before, and so that was stuck at my star level. So now I'm, like, one star short of having all the stars. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I need to play that before they fix it. <laughs> but uh, speak, speaking of fixing That's things. That's so true. Um, <laughs> the game has a lot of bugs in it. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the most annoying one was uh, I was trying to, so I was coming out of a vent, of course, mm-hmm. <laughs> sneaking, Naturally, yeah. sneak up behind a guy who was trying to fix something. They're either fixing things or hitting them with the butt of their guns. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to fix something, took him out, and then this guy sees me through a wall. And, and Cool. Yeah. And then, uh, but I take him out really quickly before, you know, he sees me and you have like that two seconds before like they alert everybody yeah, else yeah. or something. Well, I think he did actually alert, but, you know, I was still, like, in this tiny room back in this hallway and all that. And I'm like, oh, they'll just funnel in and I'll just pick them off as they funnel in like I did this guy. And then guys start shooting me from the adjacent hallway through a wall of concrete. (laughs) And I'm like, virtual concrete. Where am I getting shot? Where, where, Sean makes a where, fair point. That's true. The, they were the vo- walls not vo- real bullets too. <laughs> that is a good point. Those were hyper bullets. <laughs> they were. Well, that sounds terrible. Yeah, that's that bad. was kind of no shitty. good. Oh, and also, uh, rocket launchers uh, probably should have a louder noise to indicate that you're being fired at by a rocket when there's two rocket launcher guys. Like you just step out of an elevator and you're like, oh, there's a guy over there. I better be careful. And then. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you're exploding because there's two fucking rocket launcher snipers who saw you there and are, were were firing rockets right at your while position. you were looking at another dude. Yeah, while I was trying to sneak up on this guy, and they're like, "Don't say anything. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome." They put Look silent at- on their rocket launcher. <laughs> Motherfucker, <laughs> is that James Bond? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that dude ain't even looking at us. <laughs> oh, sh- I fucking think that's James Bond. I'm gonna shoot a rocket up his ass. Dude, shut up, dude. It's gonna be awesome. Mike, look, 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 look. Dude, that's fucking James Bond. Is that, what, is that how it played that, out? I think that was. I like to think how it, that's how it played out. He's like, double O dead, bitch. 
<laughs> He's totally looking at that other guy. <laughs> We've got rocket launchers. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. That's a good scenario. Well, because, especially because they're on a higher level, and yeah. it does indicate that enemies are on higher levels with, like, on your little radar with, like, little arrows on mm-hmm. them. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, sweet. Those two guys who are on my radar are on the next floor. I won't have to worry about them till I go up this next set of stairs. They were there. <laughs> Mother. They were looking. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be Pierce Brosnan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's him. I also I also ended up feeling like I liked parts of the game, but you know, it does try to do the over the top elements, but I felt like it was really trying to make it also realistic. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. like those two things didn't gel quite as well. And it, that was there in Bloodstone, but I felt like I th- I think it was maybe just more equal parts over the top. Yeah. In Bloodstone. Wow. Gotcha. Whereas this one, it's like, you know, it's like you're sneaking around and you're getting the shit shot out of you <laughs> most of the time. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you're driving a tank through St. Petersburg. <laughs> <laughs> Not very smooth. And then it goes and then yeah, and then it goes back to <laughs> to the same old, same old. Right. So, you know. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it was maybe it's just because I was frustrated at other things yeah. that that, that tick me off but uh yeah and i played some multiplayer some guy sniped me the entire time that sounds awesome yeah it was great. Yeah, sounds about right <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned the bug thing and i totally forgot something about skyrim i want to mention mm-hmm. and that was i have not done the patch that came out oh this yeah week, yeah and uh, i'm sure everybody's aware at this point but don't do it <laughs> as of yet if you haven't already yeah. uh, i just don't accept it and i just have to play offline but I've heard of a lot of problems coming from that patch, and until I read that those are fixed, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I don't pay because I haven't had a problem. I don't, I don't pay attention to any of that online stuff, and I saw a lot of stuff on the other yeah. places about oh, yeah. that patch. I mean, it's down to minimal things of like, well, as minimal as dragons flying backwards are. Yeah. But dragons flying backwards, and you can't hurt them, and apparently problems with like magic resistances are all gone. That's yeah. so you're not. They're just on an equal footing with your damn horse now. Exactly. Yeah. This is retaliation. <laughs> also, people like like their saves are erased. Yeah, yeah that's like twenty serious. of their previous saves that's are erased. Their auto saves are there, but not the other ones. So, I mean, it's just lots of problems across yeah. the board. So, I, I would recommend staying away from it until they you can find out otherwise. Right. Yeah. So, my recommendation. <laughs> is that that it? Are you guys, you guys have any more discs, no. uh-huh. or is it just my Assassin's Creed? Yeah. Revelation. I dug out. You did. <laughs> you I dug. reloaded. You dug for you. All right. <laughs> I appreciate it. So the <laughs> listeners, uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Uh, Wait till I play 007 Classic, then you can get Anger Craig back. <laughs> All right. I hope so. <laughs> Where uh, those fucking armor? <laughs> I will tell you what. I was That's a preview. I was <laughs> looking into any of this Assassin's Creed stuff ahead of time. Yeah. yeah. And the last game kind of snuck up on me, and I played it, and I was like, holy shit, I really like this game a lot. You played I, the last I one, enjoyed right? it, yeah. And okay. I, I hadn't played it since the first one, and I hated the first one. Yeah, me too. Uh, and then the last one I enjoyed a lot. So I was like, you know, I'm going to kind of stay away from this. I have a feeling I'm going to play it, and all of a sudden I'm going to be back into it. I don't know if this is more of that Skyrim fallout that I'm having where I can't get back into other sure, games, sure. but mm-hmm. it is really hard to get into. And I, I put out on Twitter the other day, I'm like, am I alone in this? And I got quite a few, you know, feedback from people like, no, like, you're not oh my alone. God, shut up. No, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, why am I following you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> what do you do? I thought this was a bot. <laughs> Things like that. Uh, but... No, I mean, a lot of people agreeing with me saying, no, I'm also having a problem. It just, it starts so weird. And it's, mm-hmm. and I think maybe it's because the last one ended like totally at a middle of a story kind of point. Yeah. And this one kind of picks up at that middle of a story kind of point. Yeah. And it really didn't have a smooth transition for me. Maybe and it's kind of a weird scenario at the beginning of this game. Maybe I haven't hit the revelation yet. That is, that is the case. I think I'm probably not far enough in, but I am having a hard time. Also, just getting back into the swing of things, of running around mm-hmm. and doing stuff. And I know that you you bounce between... Hey, you don't mean a thing if you don't get, <laughs> ain't got the swing. You bounce between uh, <laughs> Altair, Thank you. Altair and Ezio in the game. Yeah. So the other characters. But I haven't gotten anything to Altair yet. And I know that that stuff is... It sounds like that, that stuff is supposed to be a little more entertaining yeah. and mix it up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But I'm having a really hard time. And I'm also having a hard time with playing Ezio because... The end of the last game jumped ahead like 10 or 15 years. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. And so now you're playing Ezio and he's like 45 years old. He, f- he looks old. I'm like, why am I running around with this old dude? I don't what even do, want to play as him anymore. Against old people. Well, I don't want to run around as him. Why? 
I don't know. It's like I don't want to play GTA with ass, like a right? 50-year-old guy. Do you know what I mean, though? Why yeah. not? It's just kind of weird. Hmm. I know. He's kind of badass. Still, <laughs> See? He's like, oh, I know. I know. The badass, wiz- wizened old guy is, is actually twice as badass. It's true. <laughs> you have a good point. You make a fair point. Uh I also they they add in a bunch of new gadgets this time around. There's like there's this whole bomb system where you can make different kinds of bombs mm-hmm. and like little grenade like type things, uh, stuff that like throws out jelly bombs. No, it's like a cherry bomb, so like a distraction. And then there's like ones that like have coins, so you can like bust out coins and it makes like a distraction because people come over and like oh. go get the coins, nice. which normally you could throw out coins and yeah. like make a distraction that way. But I think you can create different types of bombs that do different things, and. It almost feels it's like getting into Batman territory. Yeah. When I'm playing this game, where it's like yeah. all of a sudden I got a fucking utility belt, and I'm plus, like, plus you have assassin mode where everything kind of goes green. Yeah. Can I just have my <laughs> blades? How about that? You know, they do add in this cool like hook on the end of your blade, so now you can, and it makes a lot of sense because mm-hmm. now you can actually use it to like jump higher. So you'll climb the buildings oh, and you'll yeah. jump up, and then when you hit the B button, mm-hmm. he like extends up his claw mm-hmm. or it. It's a hook on the end of his uh, blade. And so he kind of hooks it on things and like pulls himself up. Nice. And so it makes sense. And you can kind of use it to slide down these ropes mm-hmm. and then assassinate people from the air, which is really cool. Uh, so there's a lot of different options, but it's just hard for me to get into the swing of things. And the story isn't helping because I feel so disjointed from where I left off in the last game. Sure. Yeah. And there was something to the, the, the area of that last game and building up that area and like bringing back like those shops and buying them yeah. and, like you had to repopulate basically and take out the borgias and like clear those areas and those zones and that's kind of what this game operates like it does have those areas but it doesn't feel like you're rebuilding cities i mean it's obviously not hmm. and then i got to this weird section that i had no idea was in the game and that's when you take out in the old in the last game you would like take out those towers the borgias do you yeah. remember those guys yeah. in this game you do take over those territories but your territory can be fought back against they can kind of reclaim their territories Uh. so when they do that how you have to like take it back is it becomes a tower defense game wow and i'm like really Uh. so you're standing on a rooftop Mm -hmm. and you have so many units to spend and you're basically buying arrow guys and guys with guns and Uh uh, blockades and things like that and you're putting them up on the different roofs Uh and in the streets and then they send like waves of dudes that come through that are like trying to take back your area. And it just, it's well done. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't like not fun, mm-hmm. but it was really weird. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm running around assassinating people, climbing buildings. And now all of a sudden I'm standing on top of this rooftop putting troops out. And it kind of felt like when it happened in Brutal Legend, when you had the RTS yeah. all of yeah. a sudden. And I was like, yeah. You know, it doesn't play bad, but it's like, why am I doing this? It's like such a break in the... And, and I've heard from a couple people that you you don't have to do it. If you kind of keep your notoriety down, they don't really challenge those areas again. Sure. So you, it's not something you necessarily have to go into do hmm. a lot, but it just seemed really out of place and odd. With how notorious you are, I can understand. That's correct. <laughs> how can I keep a low profile? <laughs> I'm murdering that bitches would, all over. That, that would not be true to yourself or <laughs> others. <laughs> So I don't know, you know, I'm not very far in, um, but I, I understand it's also, you know, like I said, it, I don't know if it's a mix between the whole Skyrim thing yeah. and like, I'm so obsessed with that right now, or if it's just that I am legitimately having a problem with the story and like, it's really weird and like a weird start point. Yeah. And they're just doing some weird things. I don't know. Hmm. But I've heard from some other people that it is hard to get into. So maybe it's just the glut of games too. And everybody's having that same scenario. I'm just glad I didn't run it then. I, 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 I don't think you would like it, yeah, honestly. If it's hard to get into, and that's what I had a problem with the very first one, and yeah. that's what really made the whole series cold. So cool. I'm just having a really hard I'm time. Glad. Cool. But I, I, I it do. It was rented out. I was going to try it out. I do want to play. I highly recommend the last game. Yeah. Brotherhood. Yeah. I thought with Brotherhood was awesome. Yeah. And I guess maybe that's just what I wanted more of. And they're they're wanting to move on with the story, make it even more complicated. And I'm like, I just want to rebuild a town. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> can I do that? I want to buy like, Aqueduct. Where can I collect aqueduct. things? <laughs> yeah. Where can I collect things? Where do, um, excuse me, I have a question. Uh, thank you for the hook on my blade and everything, but... <laughs> I'm picking up these things, and I don't see anywhere I can put them. <laughs> so, do I get, like, a house? <laughs> do I... Oh, I don't understand the concept of only being able to carry six at a time, so... <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with carrying six at a time, but I need to put the others... Like, like if I had more than six, where would <laughs> like I put the spoon those? that I just found? <laughs> yes. 
I, right. I got no place for it. Look, I have uh, 15 bales of hay. <laughs> exactly. That were laying around. And <laughs> I just. Nobody seemed to be using them. Uh, where do I stack those? Because <laughs> I can't carry them all day I, and run I've around hid on buildings. I've in every one of them, but I'd like to keep them. Now you guys see how I play yeah. games. I want some indie developer now just to make a game where you just walk around finding shit and collecting Hoarders. it. And hoarding it. Yeah. Yeah, somebody needs to make a hoarder game. And that's all it is. And you would play it. Do you see all those pictures I put up on our on our forums yes. yeah. in the Skyrim thread? That's awesome. Or it was in our last episode thread. Yeah. With everybody's collections of stuff in their house. Yes. <laughs> I like the fire in the middle, especially because it makes things like the cheese one. What's your fire it pit? Make, I know, but it makes like it makes it all look like it's gold. <laughs> yeah. But, but then you look at it, it's wheels it's of cheese. cheese. <laughs> yeah. Just wheels of cheese. Wheels of cheese. <laughs> Cabbage. Anyway, so I, I'm gonna I'm got i'm gonna continue to play assassin's creed hopefully this weekend i want to get a little bit more into it and see if I, it can grasp me yeah. but it's not grabbing me like the last one did too bad. where i just sunk in time to it and yeah. i didn't even think twice about it this one's making me like struggle to try and get into so hmm. we shall see but that's it for me that's it are we done that's it yay <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> um I wanted to mention uh, programming for our next show. Yes. Just to let everybody know ahead of time that uh, we're going to be doing our next show um, and then doing our special 2011 best of favorites 2011 looking at 2012, which will also be a separate show, but we'll be recording at the same time because we're going to go on a little break over the holidays Mm -hmm. because Craig's leaving us forever. (laughs) Never to return. Wish. (laughs) No, but um, so we'll be lo- uh, listing them on our website too. But we would love to get your guys' input so we uh, can yeah, include yeah. that in the show. Mm-hmm. So if you have your favorites of 2011, just yep. look on our forums. Um, we'll be putting the list out there. So get in touch with us to let us know what those are. Um, and you can also check out at signedinpodcast.com. That is a website that has all of our past episodes, um, links to those forums, a uh, link to our Twitter, our Facebook. Uh, fan page Mm -hmm. because we got so many fans all that good stuff no not really but uh, we appreciate the ones we have yeah and you can email the Pax Chronicles get its own Facebook fan page no it will not probably not we should start one I'll show you how I'll fill that in a minute I'm gonna do it Uh, comments at signedinpodcast.com you can email us we would love to hear from you Uh, and that's it next episode like I said I don't know we'll probably have some games and then <laughs> some, I might have WWE 12. Are you gonna look at that? I seriously, want to play it? Even now, more I've heard so really good things about even it. Even more now that I can't get it. Like I hate that. Like when I go to rent a game that I want to play and then I can't rent it, yeah. it makes me want to play it even that much more. <laughs> even though I probably out shouldn't. of spite, it is. It's like I gotta have it now because I can't. I want to buy that. Oh, and uh, we will probably within the next week or so. We're gonna have a private chat for Batman: Arkham City as yes. well. So check out that show if you played the game because we're gonna be spoiling some stuff in there. <laughs> if I can remember anything about it, which I know I Batman's can. in it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll make, Spoiler. Just, hold on. Let me write that. Batman is in it? Yes. All right. Thank yes. you. And uh, hope, if everything worked out right now, you'll be going to uh, some the first episode of the PAX Chronicles. Yeah. That's right. And so I hope, I, I pray that it's somewhat enjoyable. <laughs> me too. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Signed in Podcast and Pseudo Radio Productions brings you the first episode of The Pax Chronicles, A Tale of Skyrim. It's been two days since I helped stop the magic anomalies that were unleashed outside the College of Winterhold. Two days. Yet the body that fell outside the frozen hearth remains. The body I put there with a single misfire of my arrow. A horrific accident born of a scene of chaos and panic. I was there to help the townsfolk. To shield them from an attack they could not protect themselves against. I had convinced Feralda and Arnel Grain 
to help me in the battle. Everyone was scattered trying to stop the anomalies. I hung back and took to my quiver, as that is usually where I'm most helpful. It was madness, but in the end, the three of us prevailed. It was only after the dust had settled that I noticed the Winterhold citizen laying face down in the snow outside the inn, a single arrow in his back. I quickly removed it from the body. Amidst the confusion and turmoil, I'm quite sure my actions went unnoticed. As cold as it may seem, the consequences of, of even an accident is not something I can deal with at the moment. There are far more pressing matters to be resolved here in so little time. Once my work here is completed, I will find out if the unfortunate soul has a family. I will make this right by them. I want my business at this college to be finished. I don't want to abandon the people in need of assistance, but I can't be made to suffer the looks of the guards every time I leave my room at the frozen hearth. Look, a body. They say every morning as I descend the front steps, glancing at me with a catty smirk, occasionally tossing in an unprovoked, I know who you are, as I make my leave for the college. If they did in fact know who I was, they would not be pressing this matter. If they knew my connections to the Dark Brotherhood, cast aside as they may be at the moment, I promise you they would no longer be sneering or jabbing. If they knew who I was, they would know that every morning I'm forced to relive that exact scenario that sent me on that dark, lonely path so many months ago, when another misguided shaft found its way into the path of an unsuspecting innocent, Lydia. Even saying the name this many months later is almost too much. I've come too far and buried too much to have it all come crashing back down on me. I will just have to look past these guards until I am free from this God's forsaken town. The same guards continue to harass me. The same march up to the body upon my exit. The same comments. Like some kind of damned infernal machines. I will dispose of the body myself and end this once and for all. I cannot stand the continued torment of it mirroring my past. I cannot afford to be set on that path once again. I use the cover of night to bury the body, undetected and undisturbed. I also learn to the living quarters of the morning shift guards. I believe a visit is in order to make sure no surprising information comes to light once I'm gone. A simple in and out, fact-finding mission. Exactly what I've spent the last few months doing for others. And good practice if I'm about to look into that gang of thieves residing under Riften. My work is completed at the college, and it is time for me to take my leave, and not a moment too soon as I overheard the other travelers at the inn discussing news of the bodies of a few watch guards being discovered. I didn't particularly appreciate the look the innkeeper shot my direction, and as much as I want to believe otherwise, it appears some habits are proving hard to break.
are receiving this transmission. This has been a pseudo radio production. Repeat, this has been a pseudo radio production, copyright 2011.